it's kind of interesting when you consider the five factors from the power of peers that were developed in terms of what were common to high performing peer groups. But with just the slightest adjustment, these five factors are also you know, what uh, is common to high performing teams, right? You gotta have all the right people in the room. They've gotta trust each other. They've gotta be you know, productive. They have to be as accountable and, and as committed to one another as they are the purpose and the goal, right? And they have to have uh, the kind of leadership that I think is really about making the team successful versus the leader successful. And I think when you have that in place inside of an organization, you can do a lot of really amazing things. And uh, so, yeah, I have talked a lot about that to uh, CEOs and other key executives in the workshops I do where we talk about their, their peer group and how to make it higher performing. But then I also give them a template for running the almost exact same exercise with their teams. And those CEOs and key executives have done that. And they come back and some of them have done it the next day and, and they can't believe the conversations uh, it inspires. And one of the things that for all of the members of that team, what they really discover is that it's not up to the company or to the leader or anybody else in the organization to make me happy and make me productive. I have a role to play here. I have a role uh, in terms of my personal responsibility. I have a role in terms of my commitment to my team members. And if I do those two things first, and I do those things really well, uh, the team's going to be more successful. I'm going to be more successful. We're all going to be happier. We're all going to trust one another more. I mean, it's, uh, you know, sounds like a very obvious kind of simple formula, but shockingly, it, um, uh, it's not as common as you might hope. Any, any good anecdote without, and it, without, uh, divulging an identity perhaps, but of, of, of a leader, a CEO that went and did that and what the outcome was for them, even in the short term? Yeah. Um, so someone had, uh, and this was someone I believe in, um, it, it was in Rochester, New York, and they had run this with their team. And, um, and I think in the end when, because one of the things that's done, uh, in the at the end of the workshop is right they're basically asked to self-assess where they are in terms of do we have all the right people in the room what does it take to be successful inside this company what does that look like and do we have all the right people here uh, to do that do we trust one another and work as well together as we should do we have the level of collegiality that we should you know and if not how can we go about fixing that 